So in this problem we got the following, we got the mobile sculpture that has been suspended from the ceiling of an airport terminal building. Then it says that it consists of two metal spheres, each with a mass of 2 kilos, connected by a uniform metal rod with mass of 3 kilos and the length of 4 meters. Then it says that the assembly is suspended at its midpoint by a wire and it rotates in a horizontal plane, making 3 revolutions per minute. The question is to find the angular momentum and the kinetic energy of the assembly. So right here we have two masses, the two kilos each, the rod, 12 right here, which is three kilos, and then the distance being four meters. So as we find the angular momentum, we're gonna use the equation, um, L equals to the moment of inertia times omega, or the angular velocity. <laughs> The kinetic energy is going to be one half moment of inertia times angular velocity squared. So first we have to find the moment of inertia of both the sphere and the rod. So now since we have two spheres, we can say that the radius is going to be the following. There's a distance from one sphere to the center of the rod and one distance from the center from the sphere to the zero. So we have we have a radius of two. And two meters. So the moment of the inertia of the sphere is going to be the mass times r squared. And r in this case is going to be half of the distance. So we squared it up and we said the two kilograms divided by the two point meter square is going to be equal to eight kilograms per meter square for the moment of inertia of the sphere. For the moment of inertia of the rod, we use the formula that is on the last page of the last page of the worksheet. So it goes like this, one over 12 times the mass times the length of the rod squared. And that is going to give us four kilograms per meter squared. Now to find the total moment of inertia, we have to multiply the two masses. So it's gonna be two times eight kilograms and add it up to the moment of inertia of the rod. And that should give us a total amount of 20 kilograms per meter squared. Now to find the angular momentum, we first have to convert the angle of velocity from revolutions to radians. And that is what we did up here. We cancel out the revolutions, cancel out the minutes, and we get 0 0.31 radians per second. Now we can go ahead and use the formula that we set up uh, in the first place. We got the moment of inertia times the angle of velocity. Total moment of inertia times the angle of velocity should give us a result of 6.2 kilograms per meter square per second as our angular momentum. So lastly, the kinetic energy is going to be one half times the moment of inertia times the angular velocity squared. So it's going to be one half times 20 kilograms times meter square times 0 0.31 radians per second square. And the answer would be 0 0.86 joules for the kinetic energy. So we got kinetic energy and angular momentum.